how to make a discord bot without coding hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own custom bot of for discord without any coding whatsoever so let's get started so over here i'm on discord right and i've logged in and what you want to do is you're going to scroll down and come down here over here in developers so we're going to click on developers and it's going to open up the developer uh control panel over here you have your introductions and you know your um documents and legal documents your terms and conditions and stuff like that so what you're going to do is you're going to click on application and over here what you're going to do is you're going to click on add new so this new button right here click on new and over here just say just write in the name of your uh bot so i'm just simply going to write all in one bot right here and once you do that just simply click on create and once you've created it what you can do is you can you know choose a new icon you can change it like an icon for your bot so i'm just simply going to go ahead and add this darth vader icon right here i'm going to click on save changes wait for a couple of seconds and once the changes are saved you're good to go so so this is your bot's general setting now what we're going to do is we're going to configure the bot so we're going to build a bot right here so we're going to bring our bot, bot to life by adding a bot user so we're just simply going to click on add bot and we're going to click on yes do it and then over here a wild bot has appeared so over here we're going to reset the token that's right so the token has been reset we're going to copy it we're going to copy the token and we're going to save the token over here so once the token has been saved over here on the sticky note we're good to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to we're not going to make it you know private or anything we're just going to keep it safe we're going to make it private and we're going to give it like administrator over here and then we're going to go over here onto the left side and we're going to click on O auth 2 O auth 2 and what we're going to do is we're going to click on url generator so we're going to click on bot and we're going to select bot as well and uh, we're going to click bot the administrator you know permissions and we're going to copy this link we're going to open a new tab and we're going to paste that link in the new tab and we're going to go to it now what we're going to do is we're going to basically add the bot to our server so we're signed in we're going to add select the server that we want to add to so we have this server right here testing i'm going to click on continue i'm going to choose administrator click on authorize and then i just clear the recapture boom there you go so as you can see the notification is here all in one bot just joined the party it has been authorized we are good to go now what we can do next is we can add a bunch of codes to our bot so over here as you can see this is the bot but it's not live right now because we still need to do a little bit of thing more thing over here so to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go over here onto this part of the website this is called scratch for discord it's basically where you configure your bot so what we're going to do over here is we're going to click on examples all right we're going to click ping pong command yes this is our like editor this is like the blockchain over here this is like blocks we just simply add different blocks to it and then we move them around and add different blocks to it so over here we have a bunch of different options so over here if someone writes this uh, message over here exclamation mark ping then bot will respond with pong exclamation mark so i'm just gonna change the exclamation mark to i and i'm gonna say hey over here for the bot there we go now once that's done what we can do now is we'll just simply add in our bot token so which we copied earlier this is it right here we're just simply gonna copy this token we're gonna paste it over here boom they're good to go now we just simply click on this so we're going to name our bot so for now it's untitled document so we're going to write demo so that you guys can know what we're doing and then we're just simply going to click on download yeah so we're going to download it download the bot and we're going to save it over here i'm going to create a new folder call it bot enter it and i'm going to open it and i'm going to save it over there All right boom there we go we have it saved now let me just go ahead and open up that folder over here and we just unzip the folder over here we extract everything into this folder right here so these are all the contents that we have so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up this website called replit we're going to go ahead and open replit.com and we're going to create an account over it so what is replit so it's basically a site where we add and code add some different code so we already have our account ready so we're going to click on node.js and we're going to create a repl we're going to call it demo 
like I said, and we're going to click on create panel, wait a couple of seconds for it to be created and we can move on. So there we go. So now it's created. We're going to have our files over here. We're going to have our panel over here and boom, we're good to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in, you know, our folder. So we're going to click on add folder. Actually, we're going to go ahead and upload our folder over here that we just downloaded over here. This is the folder, right? We're just simply going to click on open. I'm going to click on upload. There we go. Upload the folder Wait for a couple of seconds and boom, there you go. We have our folder uploaded. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, bring out this package file. We're going to extract it out over here. So now that we have our package file out, it's very simple. You just have to drag it out. You just simply, you know, add it back in. You just drag it to inside and then you just drag it outside. There we go. Next thing what we can do is we're going to have to take out the these two files right here bot.js you know we're gonna take it outside also gonna take out the index file as well and this replit file as well so simply gonna take that out as well so once that's done we just have to like go ahead and delete this index file and boom there we go we just delete the index yes delete this file and there we go okay so once you've done that all you have to do is just simply click on the run button over here wait for a couple of seconds why am I offline? Okay, we're back online again. Simply click on run. Uh, okay, there you go. I think it's required. All right, I think it's done, but uh, forget about all of this. So let's go ahead and see if it actually works. So we're in the testing over here and we have that, all right? Now we just search for hi. Okay, capital hi. Hi okay it didn't respond but it should respond right here i don't un understand what happened let me just try to fix it real quick okay i think it's because that this website is a new website and it's still you know not really really functional right now so maybe that's why i mean it should work technically so over here as you can see it did try to install it but it failed so what was it token error so which is weird because i added the token button over there token number as well so it should have worked but i think it's because there it's the site is still in beta form it's not a complete form yet but uh i would recommend going again and clicking on run again and it should work for me for you uh for me it's not working i don't understand why but for you it will work so let me know in the comment sections down below if it works for you and this is how you basically create a custom bot without needing to code itself so thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so i said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye